Hello, welcome back to Aussie Nomads. And as you can hear, my voice isn't the best uh, because I've recently lost it. But uh, there are some un unkind people who might say that's a good thing. But uh, when you're recording a video, no, it's not a good thing. <laughs> but we'll struggle on nonetheless. And I've just noticed this pallet sitting there against the fence. Uh, no idea how it got there or why it's there. Oh, chicken just got out there. Let's just drop that back down there. And uh, probably be a good idea to go pick up the uh, that pallet down where the old chook pen was. So, let's get down there and grab that. Ooh, hold on. Pressing the wrong key there. We're waiting for this grass to uh, grow so we can mow it and any other grass that's probably around. And we also have to grow something here. Because uh, that's all been harvested. So that will be the next job that we do um, plant a new crop in this field. We'll just um, go down here. There's also a spare bale down here, but I'll pick that up when I do some more uh, bale collecting. But in the meantime, I don't know if I'll put this down in this small point. Will it fill up? I have no idea. But we'll give it a go. We'll have some eggs to sell before too long. Oh, here we are back at the farm yard. Got to park that there. And whoops, tip the ute over. Well, I am strong. Right, we'll put that there and see if it will fill up with eggs. No reason why it shouldn't, but uh, yeah, who knows. So we need to, what's the time of the day? Midday. Okay, we've got plenty of time. Um, so we need to get a cedar. Uh, let's have a quick look. Now, we just go for the one we normally go for, which I think is that one. It's about the same configuration as that, except it doesn't require fertilizer. It doesn't take fertilizer. Um, and I guess that will depend on what crop we're going to be putting in. Now, the chickens need food, and we need to get a silo. Uh, to store their food in. So for chicken food we need wheat, barley or sorghum. Um, and we'll probably go barley in which case we just need the uh, we need the seed that does fertilizer and seed. That one. Uh, that one. Ah, that one's six meter width as well. Oh, I think it was this one that we used. We got plenty of money. So we'll lease that. We must nice be able to buy one, we haven't got that much money. Uh, and there's a tractor going over there somewhere. Oh, in the shed, of course, where I left it. Right, let's get over and grab the um, seed. I do believe there's seed and fertiliser over that way. We'll sure soon find out. 
Now there is a video that came out prior to this one, episode 15 I think, or was it 16? I can't quite remember. Um, which I think has been shadow banned by YouTube because uh, it's hardly had any views for some reason, so, and I think it's not been recommended. I did re-upload it to try and fix that issue uh, for reasons that I won't mention here because uh, you never know who's listening. Um, yeah, so if you haven't watched that one, please go and watch it uh, and catch up with the series. And uh, that would be great. Yeah. We have seed. I might get close to that one. Well, it could be lime too, of course. I think it is. It's no, 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 nothing's happening. I think that both of these ones here might be lime. That one's not doing anything. Oh, wasn't much in there. Well, we're going to be right for seed. We're full of seed, in fact. Uh, we're not, not for fertilizer. What's this one over here? That's fertilizer. Uh, there wasn't much in that. Okay, well at least now we know where we are. We've got seed and we've got fertiliser, so we have to go back over to the store and fill up. Okay, fertilizers inside this shed here. Out there. There we go. It didn't take long. So let's get back and get this crop planted. Okay, as usual, we will uh, start off with the headland. Get that one folded. In the correct position. Out there. Make sure we've got the right seed selected. Tell what the sun is made, I can hardly even see that one. That's canola. No, that's canola. Soy. Sorghum. Grass. Oh, these are all the new ones. Spelt. Millet. Oh, carrots. Hops. Oh, some interesting things we uh, haven't played yet. Anyway, I think that's oats. That's about it. Pretty sure. <laughs> Not 100% sure, but pretty sure. Right, let's get this underway. check before I go any further that nothing requires to be done. I hope this field didn't need ploughing or it doesn't matter if it need, needs sliming because we can do that once the crop's been sown but we uh, can't plough it once the crop's been sown. We could <laughs> but that wouldn't be a wise thing to do. So let's have a quick look. I think I did check last episode so we should be all right. Soil composition, that's what we want. Wait for the map to load. Uh, oh. Is that? Why is it not saying the whole field needs ploughing? 
Kalau baik uh, Hmm That's a bit odd No, no, it's just the area around the field. You can't zoom right in on this map, so it does get a bit hard to uh, see what's what. But I think that's just the uh, area around the field. Right, we'll get the stand off on a worker out there. And I did want to check. The correct crop, crop type. <laughs> and then I, I put oats in. I put oats in, not barley. Oh, that's annoying. I've got the two mixed up because they're similar. Well, no, they're not really. <laughs> For some reason, I thought oats for second. That's the only reason. Um, so it looks like we're going with oats. So the poor old chickens, uh, let's hope they'll be alright for a while. Oh yeah, they've hardly used anything, so I think it will be alright. Plus we have the grass field back there, uh, once that's been cut, we'll uh, put a crop in there and that could be uh, barley or wheat, probably just wheat. Okay, so we'll come back when this uh, field is close to being completed. Well, I just bought that uh, bale up from the other field. Feeling very strong today. Um, and I did download some mods, and we will need a silo. So, let's have a look at what we have. Should be some reasonably priced ones here. Probably at the end. 30,000, ooh, 7,000. Uh, I'm not sure how big we'll need it really, but we'll go for, we'll go for 11,000, no, $11,000, but that holds 153,000 litres. Grain bin, so that's a grain. Maybe just double check it's a grain bin. And where are we going to put that? Why can't I turn that around? I can't turn it around. Okay. Oh, just like it. Sort of turns around. Which way? Oh, I don't think it's the right type of grain bin, is it? It hasn't got a um, anywhere where you can unload the grain. Okay, that may not be a good option then. Yes, there's a uh, no spout. Oh, I don't want one of them. I think they're all the same. There's some different ones here. No, they're the same sort of thing. Um, Oh, there's some more different ones, but I think they're still, uh, still haven't got a spout. Yeah, so I downloaded all these, not knowing that, uh, but I have got this one, but they, oh, goodness me. That's a bit extravagant. Um, what if 
We position that over there. 30,000. I think that's a bit excessive as well. Okay. I did have some on, that I've used on previous maps. I, I couldn't seem to find anything on Mod Hub that um, similar to the ones I used to have. So I probably didn't get them off Mod Hub. And I don't think there's anything here. Yeah. All right, we'll have to leave that. <laughs> Let's just go and check how the work is going. Huh. You went that way. Is it going to pick up that little bit? Oh, well done. I expected the worker to go the other way for some reason. And I was going to come back and do this little bit, but they've uh, not going to do it. No. All right, we'll take over there. Oh. No, the worker had already gone. Oh, no, we'll take over and do that, I think. And a lot, they missed a bit down the end here too, which was uh, also missed last time, I think. Okay. Right, we'll get this little bit done and then. Uh, get it back on to work and we'll come back uh, when it's been completed. So, we're about halfway through. Um, still got 46% seed left. Uh, it will go close, hopefully it gets through uh, the whole field without having to require more seeds, but there are some just over there, you can see at the side of the field, so we will be right. So yeah. Okay, well, we'll come back again uh, close to the end. Right, just finishing off the uh, last piece. Uh, didn't make it with the seeds, as you'll see, we're uh, full again. Got down to almost, almost made it with what was left over at the side of the field there, but uh, not quite. So I just got this little strip to do here. That's the field done. And then I think it will be time to move on to the next day. Nothing much else we can do uh, while we're waiting for the grass to grow and this uh, crop to grow. I think oats are fairly fast, I'm not sure. Quicker than uh, canola probably about the same as wheat so uh, hope it won't be that long the poor old chickens are going to have to wait for the uh, for the next field although this field might even be ready for that one <laughs> uh, so much machinery to buy I uh, would love to buy some mowers because uh, doing silage would probably be an ongoing and profitable job to do Nearly done here. So that's great. Another crop in the ground. Now let's get this over to the uh, the new farmyard and unloaded and returned. So we'll drop these pellets off uh, over behind the shed here, I think. Right, and return the. Cedar. Which will be one of the things we need to buy um, before too long. Um, now I'll just park up here. Uh, I think that's working. I don't think they've had that many on before. But we'll wait and see uh, when we move on to the next day. It should be fairly obvious. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. That's uh, all we need to do. So uh, I'll see you in the morning.
Okay, so let's uh, go and lease these mowers. It'd be lovely to buy them, but uh, yes, can't really do that <laughs> at this point in time. Might do, might be able to do it after we sell all these uh, silage bales. Matter of fact, I'm quite certain we could. But it comes down to priorities. Uh, we need a seeder and we need a harvester, probably before we get mowers. Anyway, let's go over to the store and uh, pick them up. Right, got the uh, favourite mowers all attached. I yeah, just need to go over and find where the start of the field is. Because it's all just going to be one big uh, area of grass. So I guess we can start wherever we like. But it just looks like about it there. Uh, all right, yeah, where's the actual boundary? Oh, back further, I think, because there's the, the plough. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit difficult, isn't it? <laughs> I suspected this would happen. Ah, okay. So if I come right back to here, uh, the actual boundary of the property is about here somewhere. About there. Ah oh, yes, you can see where it was. Across there, okay. Kind of see where it was. So if we come back to about there, I'll be in the ballpark. dropping and to that one. I don't think you need to change it on both. I thought you did but no I think it looks wrong one. So I right. you never get the front one working properly. Now I'm on the front one there. Right, slow. No, it's on. Oh, it was working, I think. It just looked. It's working now. <laughs> so, if I head off this way, we should be alright. Some will be uh, in quality. Uh, so I'll uh, come back when we've. Uh, oops, okay, go back. Uh, I'll come back when we've completed, uh, nearly completed the field. I guess.
turn those noisy things off and uh, look at that and that's the roller wood of course it goes right down around the uh, the barley field as well down the other end so substantial amount and just get rid of these so without further ado we have another very big job <laughs> about to start and that of course is the bailing here we are at the store and we'll get the same uh, messy Ferguson uh, baler because it's a very good baler I probably won't be doing any grass work again for a while I think uh, I don't want to overdo it uh, balers and it is that one. No, that's not a wrapping baler. Is it? No. Come on, move up. Well, they won't move. Very annoying sometimes, these menus. Uh, is it that one? No. Where's it gone? Try it again. Definitely not that one. Uh, ah, it's that one. I, I didn't see the symbol there for the rat pile. Yes, I didn't think it was uh, more expensive than that. Uh, wrap design and we'll pick a colour. We haven't had pink. For a while in this uh, series anyway so let's lease that for four thousand three hundred very respectable price seeing the money we're going to make using it oh i didn't think i was uh, lining myself up very well there all that time but there we go right let's get this back over to the field and start this uh, big job I right, start off uh, where we started off the main right. make sure all the uh, settings are correct change the width to 1.5 uh, turn on automatic drop and I believe that's all we need to do apart from lower the pickup and start it and off we go a little bit of grass uh, that was a big job uh, a lot of bales I haven't counted them unfortunately because I did uh, exit the game in between doing the bailing so I didn't get a, a total um, let's just call it a lot uh, this would be probably the most bales I've ever done in FS22 I would think I don't know. There's some pretty big uh, fields on the last uh, uh, 
the last map by No Man's Land, but uh, you know, this would probably be up there. Now, I don't know that we'll get another full mail out of this, but we'll go close. Close we get. Uh, some little bits and pieces lying around. We may not need them, but we don't. There we go. That last one wrapped. Good. Turn that off. Well, there we go. Good buy like that. And uh, <laughs> look at that sea of bales. It looks remarkable. It's like a field full of mushrooms. But yeah, fantastic. So that will probably uh, wrap it up for this episode. We could draw into the end of another day. Some uh, setting over there. And uh, next episode, obviously, yeah, possibly won't be a lot to do because uh, I have to wait for the silage to uh, ferment, the grass to ferment into silage. And uh, it's already at 3%. And uh, then we have a field of barley down the other end there that uh, we'll have to wait for that to ripen so we can harvest that. Uh, but if all goes according to plan, the money from these bales will buy maybe a cedar and a harvester, or is that being too ambitious? It, it probably will go close, which will set us up very nicely for the future. And that's the reason why it's a good idea to do this at this stage, otherwise the series could last for a long time before we uh, could advance and uh, get enough machinery to keep going. So uh, we only own two plots of land and we'll probably be getting a lot more. So once we've got the machinery we need uh, we can start expanding the farm and probably getting some productions and uh, I would think some sheep. So that barley field will probably have some uh, bales taken off it, bales of hay. I think you can do that on barley? Yeah, of course you can. Um, so that will be for the sheep. I hey, might have some uh, eggs to sell next time as well. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, as I said, please watch the last episode because you probably won't be uh, coming up in your recommended list um, for reasons that only YouTube knows. <laughs> won't go into that. And, um, yeah, that would be good if you could get the views up on that. It doesn't look good when a, a video only has, uh, I think it's up to 11 views in a couple of days, which is ridiculous, of course. Um, yeah, so please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.